Hello, everyone. Frank and Darren back again. This Laurel Land Movie Podcast. Darren, we were thinking about what to discuss uh, between when we last did our live stream and whatever's coming out for the road to Halloween 45. And we said, let's talk about assholes. <laughs> it was your idea. <laughs> we were we almost didn't go live today. And uh, we were saying, oh, let's, let's let's do some pre-recorded stuff. No, no, let's go live. I've had this idea rattling around in my head, said Frank. Let's talk about assholes in horror. <laughs> I have to clarify that a little bit. Well, what do you mean? By Bleached. <laughs> Bleached. <laughs> so, so, yeah, we've drawn up a list of 10 each of our favorite assholes, or assholes as you call them, in horror. Should Arses. be fun. Arses. Yeah, I think yeah. it's dicks in horror. Yeah, yeah. You know what? And for, for me, I put the criteria as somebody, if I were to meet them in real life, I'd really want to peach, uh, punch them in the face. <laughs> But there's some people that just really jump off the screen, aren't there? Like, like I thought about a few people, and then I thought, no, because I thought about Shelley in Friday the Thirteenth Part Three. Yeah, but and he's then I just, just thought, a loser. He's just yeah, he's not too bad after all, is he? I actually I mean, kind of feel sorry for him. You, you didn't know, molest anybody. Parts. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> not that. You know, I, I like what Geek said uh, in here. Um, keep firing, assholes. <laughs> Or space balls. <laughs> I'm surrounded by assholes. <laughs> there is so many, though. There are so many. And there's one really obvious one which I left off, which I'll tell you what it is. It's, well, actually, no, we'll, talk, we'll, we'll, we'll mention it yeah. afterwards. It deserves an honorable at the end, but we already have, I think, two people from Halloween, so I didn't want to go too far with um, yeah. the Halloween stuff. Um, but I think no, a I've, lot of us also, Darren, is that we didn't put them on – we don't have a lot of characters that are from our best and worst of series. I think I have one, and that's it. Yeah, I had to be careful because somebody was really critical about some of my choices in the best and worst of series. So I thought who I'd was? leave that out. <laughs> oh, some <laughs> ass who was really critical. You picked him. I'm an and, asshole. Yeah, yeah. Accuse me of being racist because I I said one of the worst characters in um, in Halloween Resurrection was uh, was. Um, what's his Buster face? Rhymes? Buster Rhymes. And he is. Oh, you're, you're, that British guy's racist. What? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter who you put in that fucking uh, role. It doesn't. Exactly. But before we start, exactly. let's say hello to everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, of course, the people in our chat are not assholes. They're our friends. Oh, no. No. Okay. Uh, Chester's here. He, she, we, big boobs is here. Cody's here. Uh, Chester, I said again. Uh, Chester, I got you twice there. Hope you're happy. Rosie's here. Jonathan's here. Geek's here. Uh, Jordan's here. Maga's here. Uh, Jigsaw44 is here. We also have Back to the Retro Simon. He's here. Um, doo -doo -doo. Michael's here. Bat shit scary is here. Of course, we want to say uh, happy trails to the Iron Sheik. He died. He, he did. Did he really? Oh, the wow. Biggest heel of all time. Yeah. 81. Yeah. Still young, right? I would think still fairly young. I'm surprised he made it to 81. Gone too soon. Right. <laughs> Wrestlers usually conk out in their 50s, don't they? Depends on how much money they have. Yeah. I guess. Well, <laughs> the Iron Sheik must have been loaded, right? I guess. He was loaded all the time. He, you know, he was a, a fan <laughs> of that, too. Uh, Path of Horror Movie Collectors here. Retro Simon. And I was here. I was in the chat. David Irwin. And okay. Yeah. Brooks I just, I just here. Have to say, Son's here. Tom Atkins' ass is here. I, I just Marcus have to here. say, uh, Aaron, Pat, but, been, that Halloween movie collector. Um, Pat did an episode yesterday, which really made me laugh, which was, and I know it's been done before, but the trick is to put your own spin on it and find new, uh, things to, to add to the, um, to the party. And that was, he did an episode on the worst Michael Myers masks. Now you should check this out, guys. It's only a 10 minute video, but really funny. I think he found like 10 masks. Some of them are just unbelievable. I mean, absolutely. Someone wiped them with their asshole, kind of. Uh... Oh, oh yeah, shocking <laughs> masks! Absolutely shocking masks. So check out that Halloween movie collector, uh, and and check out Pat's episode on that because uh, I think you'll have a little chuckle. Some of those masks. It, I actually thought about doing it ourselves uh, a, a week or two ago because I know the guys at Wham have done it, and you know they just back covered everything. But that was two or three years ago. 
there's a whole load of shitty masks out there now. So yeah, maybe in a year's time or something, we'll look at doing that. But yeah, check out Pat's video. It's very funny. Hey, uh, Danita. So you're Darren. What you're saying is that fans of the Halloween series and people who watch podcasts or, or videos like ourselves have a short attention span and need to be refreshed. No, no, not at all. I'm on about the the, the masks have been refreshed. So there's a oh, whole load updated. of they've been updated. whole load of new shitty Halloween masks out there <laughs> to laugh at. Um, honestly, there were some crackers. It was brilliant, brilliant, oh, great stuff. Probably well, some that are had receding hairlines and everything. Oh, and... there was all sorts of things. There one that looked like sideshow Bob. One that <laughs> one that did actually look like it. Someone had wiped their backside on it as well. Ooh, um, the Rob Zombie <laughs> mask must have been. <laughs> There was that whole joke, right? Is that is that he was wiping his asshole with it, you know, after he ate a dog. <laughs> Just like looking around and go, oh, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Pat says a whole thing. Yeah, he, he says that that was just the tip of the iceberg with horrible Myers masks. Yeah, oh, I think there's, there's a lot more mileage in that after these last three yeah. films. He can go out to um, do like Freddy, Jason. Oh, he know. could, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Ooh. Um right. Should we get this? Uh, should we get this going? Let's go, people. Let's go, let's go look at some assholes. I think uh, you know. There's our poster boy for this. Yeah. We we'll talk about him a little bit uh, down the line, but um, yeah, your your first one, Frank, is your first asshole is King Asshole, right here. <laughs> the first one. As soon as I thought of this uh, show, and Darren and I put together, he said, "Think of Ted." He. Fucking Ted from part two, the biggest asshole of any fucking horror series known to man. Everything's a goddamn fucking joke to him. Everything is just he's never serious, except for the part where I guess they find the the sign for Camp Blood. And he says, no, we got to go. Other than that, he's a total asshole, a total jerk throughout the <laughs> whole fucking movie, scaring people. And you know what? He's a bigger asshole because he killed Sandra and whatever the other guy's name is, Chuck, whatever his name is, the, the Sandra and the the boyfriend. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a real spear, Darren. It is. It's, it's a real someone, spear. Someone fell foul to it later on, didn't they? Oh, I, and he asked that guy at the end. He survives. He's an asshole that survives where the rest of the assholes in this series don't survive. He <laughs> survives because he wants to go get drunk. <laughs> Is there any afternoon? Uh, is there any after places still open after around here? Sure, here are. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole, man! Who's ever friend with this? Who's a friend with this dickhead? You know, <laughs> hate him. Jonathan Ball says, "Frank Riker, how dare you? Ted is the man. Staying thirsty at the bar, getting the waitress to boot. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to sleep with that guy? Keep that mask on." <laughs> Pat says at least he was smart enough to stay at the bar and live. Yeah. <laughs> what was the whole thing? The uh, a one time that drinking actually saved your life? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Um, that's a great picture <laughs> of him, though, isn't it? Yeah, look at that, look at that asshole. Which one's Ted? <laughs> yeah, which one's Ted? <laughs> you know, like my, my rant about the uh, about um Eddie in uh, part seven. Oh, there's always an ED. If there's an ED at the end of their name, it's oh, he's, that's the asshole. Aaron says, "Can his neck look any longer?" <laughs> no, no, that that's that's the mask. Uh, that's Ted <laughs> on the right there. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does have a long neck. He does have a long neck. Oh, um, okay, God. my my first one is a film that I'm okay with. Everybody loses their mind over this film, but I'm not that big a fan i don't know why I'd, i think i missed it when it first came out no i didn't miss it i was watching more more horrific and violent things when this came out but mrs deagle from gremlins mm. um horrible just kind of snooty uptight cow uh <laughs> who just has nothing good to say to anybody and i just feel like to say to her you've got nothing to say and you say it too loud all the time and i'm glad she went out of the window on that chair there oh. <laughs> She's she, been in some other movies. You know where she's also been? She was the uh, curmudgeon, the, the miser that called uh, on Robin Williams when he had a birthday party for his son in Mrs. Doubtfire. Right. I recognize her from a few things. What an asshole. 
she's a she she i think um i think she always plays a a, a similar type of role doesn't she mm. i seem to remember shouting at another who oh god who was it now anyway um yeah gremlins <sighs> you know the film okay can take it or leave it but this character one of the biggest assholes in horror if you can call gremlins horror which i think you can pg yeah. pg horror christmas horror yeah yeah I, you know and everyone's standing behind her darren they they've all have like a mortgage with her or her bank probably <laughs> and because the one guy right there see the guy in, in the bowler hat or what is that the bowler some, hat whatever what is it is this? like 70s london what are you talking about, <laughs> bowler hat? where everyone used to everyone used to bow to everybody as soon as they walked a flat you know, cap yeah you know, whatever <laughs> <You go. laughs> but, um, he's the one who owns um the bar and mrs deagle was trying to tear it down and that's where they're signed a petition and everything like that <laughs> um and then the one girl i think next to him is the one with the kids outside yeah probably and yeah. then the guy behind her is the one who lost the bet and has to go out with her mm. on a date if she were to get laid a couple times she may be okay but she has those blasted cats around her well mrs deagle yeah she's got like 16 cats around her oh you leave cats out of this oh. <laughs> uh <laughs> natural born assholes Someone says here, Sally Field plays, plays a jerk in Mrs. Doubtfire as well. <laughs> <laughs> She's Not a technically horror. Horror. She's a working mother. <laughs> Trying to get some on the side, right? Um, I, I did think about this one as well, Aaron. Although not technically or strictly horror, in Aliens, there's a, a Burke's a major arsehole. Mm. Yeah, I did think about that. Uh, there, there's a few as well. Um, I think you and I are putting natural born assholes. Because <laughs> I was gonna actually, I thought about that. You know, I was gonna put Rodney Dangerfield up there. Oh, really? For what? <laughs> That's natural born asshole. Oh, okay. Um, Jim Dorsey hey, says four ninety nine and says, "That's right, Darren. Keep slipping Frank the cash. Here I go. <laughs> A great idea. Why don't you just give him all our goddamn money?" <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. Uh, <laughs> um what else we got here uh mace machine horror show says chip or the loan shark from silent night deadly night part two chip yeah yeah i'm just trying to remember yeah i think i remember yeah good shout um and judge reinhold in gremlins he never got his comeuppance they must have used up all the budget i think they was that before did. or after um Beverly Hills Cop. Around the same time. They were both 84, weren't they, I think? Yeah. If I remember rightly. Well, he was becoming a big star, wasn't he? Mm. He was. Vice so versa. Were, yeah, you're right. Maybe they wasted <laughs> the budget on him. I think he's in the new Beverly Hills Cop film as well. Well, he was, he's been in all of them so far. He can't. Yeah, yeah. Even the cheat theme park one. Um, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready yeah. for your next one? Okay, here we go. Oh, Mr. Cooper. What a <laughs> bastard. What a, what a, what a, what a prick he is. And, and no, I'm not the, the, the original I'm not considering. It's this guy. This guy is, is such a, an asshole. He thinks about only about himself. He doesn't even think about his wife who he slaps around and the daughter. He could probably give two shits at, uh, uh, about, um, wouldn't help them bar up the house. Uh, can barely get the hammer and nails to uh, what's his name to to reinforce the windows, and he, he automatically hates Ben. So there might be a little bit of racism in there. And I Could love be. Tony Todd in this movie. I love Tony Todd. Oh, he's great. He's oh. fantastic. But this guy, uh, he played whoever picked him to be this uh, this actor to be this character, did a great job of being a major asshole, Mister Cooper. <laughs> That would be Tom Savini, probably, wouldn't it? Yeah. I think he directed it, right? Him yeah. too. <laughs> oh, him too. Um, yeah, no, I agree. He's a he's a jerk, isn't he, and all this stuff. Um, I just saw a few that flashed up there that uh yeah, the late the the preacher from the mist. That's a good call. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's a great she's actress, a, though. She's a great good actress, actor. yeah. She's a big Hollywood actress, isn't she? 
Um, uh, uh, Rosie says the motel owner from Psycho 2. That's um, what's his face, isn't it? Um, hey, you can't talk to me like that. Dennis Franz. Dennis Franz. That's the one. Mr. Toomey. <laughs> Mr. Toomey. <laughs> um, and someone else said, uh, who, what was the other one that I saw? Motel owner. <laughs> Glazier from The Burning. Yeah, I agree with that one mm. as well. Um, and I saw one other. Oh, there we go. Not technically horror, but borderline. Walter Peck in Ghostbusters. Mm. Interesting. Who's been photographed on set of the new one? Has he? I saw a picture the other day, yeah, of Walter Peck. That's right. This man mm. has no dick. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, my next one is... Hang on, let me check what it is first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, one of the biggest uh... assholes in horror. Complete asshole. <laughs> you just hate the movie. No, I love the film. I love the film, but I'm 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 not you know what I'm like with with characters that shout. It just kind of gets on my nerves and that's why I don't get on with movies like The Goonies and oh God. The Texas Chainsaw 2 and you know that's just a shout fest is that film. Rhodes in this film, um I, I when I first saw the movie I was just like Jesus just Rain it in a little bit, will you? With the language and the shouting and swearing at everybody that that comes on screen. But the the thing is with this um, is that he gets one of the biggest comeuppances in horror history when he gets torn in half um, by the zombies. So he's forgiven for being an asshole because of his death. Because so, his is being ripped out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And bless him as well. Um, he's dead now, isn't he, as well? Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, yeah, he died five or six years ago, I think. You think a lie would have been huge for a convention for him? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. I, I, was, I, give, him, I give him a pass, I think. Really? I mean, dealing with what he's dealing with and Dr. Frankenstein not listening to him, <laughs> you know, and there's only one woman in that bunker. Yeah, yeah. No liquor. I think the other the other two guys are assholes. What's the the bigger guy and the the one that's the one, laughing as he's getting? The one he does, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, 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 <laughs> nobody's particularly likable in that film, apart from uh, I forget her name now, uh, uh, Laurie Card, uh, whatever. I, uh, I the, like the lead girl. Truth, I like Rowan Atkinson in it. I thought he was great in it. Rowan Atkinson? Oh well, yeah, isn't he? Isn't he in this movie? Ned. <laughs> That's not Rowan Atkinson. I know no, what you mean. No, the guy, the guy who, who's drinking and say, with the yeah, saints preserve yeah, that's, us. That's, that's not, not him. I thought that was him for like the longest him. time. No, that's not Rowan Atkinson. I thought that was Rowan Atkinson. No, he was probably busy recording Mr. Bean when this was on. You Rowan Atkinson wasn't in Day of the Dead. <laughs> that's hilarious. Come on. I do like... know what you mean, though. I do know what you mean. <laughs> <sighs> Fantastic. Uh, we, we had a few that, that, that popped up here. Um, so Atkins Burke, in... That's right, Burke. Thank you. Burke, yeah. uh, Atkins in Creepshow. Yeah, that's another arsehole. Um, oh, God. MAGA. MAGA. What about John Landis for killing Vic and two kids with a helicopter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kind of burnt yeah. some bridges there, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. Linda Cardiel. No, I think it's Laurie Cardiel, Brandon. I'm Is pretty it? sure. I think so. I don't think it's Linda. Brandon, um, very, very rarely wrong. No, I know. That's what made me question that. I think I'm pretty sure it's Laurie Cardiel. Um, who else have we got? Watch the last names to be wrong. <laughs> uh, anything else? Scott from Evil Dead 1 says WRD Channel 13. Really? Um, wow. He was one of my best characters. And then Buddy Rapperton from yeah. Christine. <laughs> I think maybe the other the, the other guy. Uh, I think the whole group are assholes. Yeah, exactly. The parents. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, here we go. Your next one. Milt. Ugh. Milt. Do I you know what milt is? It's a delicacy. Well, it's short for Milton, right? So, yeah. But yeah, but what is Milt? Well, I asked, I'll ask the channel to Google what Milt is and then put it in the chat. 
They're going to get some weird pictures. As in, as in, as in well, no, no, but, but, but you can't put pictures there, I don't think. But milt is a delicacy um, in certain parts. Like milting? In, it's a, 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 in parts of the UK, there's people that, that eat it, particularly up north, uh, and usually older people. But uh, yeah. Anyway, carry on. Milton. Well, uh, milt, yeah. Uh, Tammy's father. Uh, the one who's growing just pots. How he makes a living growing pots. Not growing pots, but making pots uh, <laughs> for, for plants. Or He has red striped beer, and he's watching his wrestling. You can tell he's an alcoholic. He's probably uh, an abuser uh, of both Tammy and her mother. And he's a, he's, he, he deserves what he got because of what he said about Marty. You know, he, he was a crippled, be on welfare his whole life. He need to execute them all, balance the budget. Come on. <laughs> and uh, you know he deserved to die, and then one one care the one um, this this actual movie is actually filled with assholes because <laughs> well, you the got reference. the guy who says you know it may be your oven but it ain't my bun. <laughs> <laughs> he got that guy. Busey's uh, in there as well. That's yeah, number he, one. <laughs> he's the number one <laughs> asshole now. Um, oh my god. Yeah, what was there not to say about Mill? He got what he deserved, and I think he should have gotten worse. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with you. He was a bit of a, um, a kind of despicable character, wasn't he? Um, a lot of people are answering my Milk question in the chat. Um, Andrew's never heard of it, and he's British, he says. He's wrong. Uh, yeah, uh, Andrew, northern men, northern older men uh, uh, used to drink, uh, used to drink it, uh, used to eat it. Uh, melting, ago, but, melting old men. But, but, uh, but, but it's, uh, I think what? it's the uh, ejaculate of herrings, oh! if I remember right. <laughs> God, she. Uh, but it's been said here. It was said my grandma used to steamed milk to make an egg custard. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I have a friend whose dad. Um, he's a northerner, and whose dad used to uh, eat it on toast. He would, have, he would <sighs> toast bread and spread it on the bread. <laughs> You want to see them get that, right? You don't want to see we ran out of milk, so somebody needs to make a substitute. <laughs> <laughs> if your chef comes out and says, here you go, and goes, <laughs> you're like, that's okay. <laughs> uh, oh, Sit and Spin says, I'm from the Northeast, so I know exactly what it is. There mm. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that would be that would be like a like a sea town, right? Like a like a, a short town. If you say you're from the northeast, Are the, uh, the north uh, uh, it'll be a well, yeah, possibly, probably from Newcastle or somewhere like that. Oh, like uh, uh, what's his name? The guy from the police? Yeah, Sting. Sting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why does everybody hate everybody from Newcastle? That's not true. Well, Dick. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Willow hates people from Newcastle. Willow, what? Um, uh, uh, what's his face? Warwick um, Davis. Warwick Davis. Why? I don't know. Well, I don't know. Remember that? I, I used to love that show. Um, Life's short. Oh yeah, yeah. Where yeah. he accidentally bit on something, and he told Sting, <laughs> "Go back to get away from me, you Newcastle prick." <laughs> 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 um power packer says that he's putting down his pea soap that he's eating now so uh <laughs> no. let's move on let's get yeah. away from it we're talking food again why do we get on the food <laughs> beans tomatoes and now milt um, Ooh, okay. what a let's, let's, yeah. uh dan all right I, dan I, the I, weatherman I, from the fog please explain uh, I just think he's so full of himself in this film. Because he so looks old. Because he looks old. He was probably 40 years old here because he was 30, 39. Well, no, he probably was about 42 because he was 39 when he made Halloween. And this came out in 1980. So he would have filmed everywhere. Yeah, he was probably about 41, 42. Um, but he loves himself so much in this film. And and that whole thing when he's talking to Stevie Wayne and he says, uh, they're not going to like finding me home. You know what he reminds me of? And he when he goes to the door, you know what he reminds me of the way that he says that? Sure. Like, I'm, 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 the, I'm the, the bee's knees here. I'm going to take these guys on, whoever it is. Do you remember that cop in Commando in the shopping center 
when he's chatting up those girls oh, and Arnie's running he around kick some ass. and he goes, Why don't I see me kick some ass? He <laughs> kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> and Arnold, not Arnold, but um Ray Dong Chong throws Michael Myers down the steps. Oh, is that um That's Warlock? Dick Warlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, we have a super chat. Many oh, cool. Styles Records says Tony Todd in Final Destination scaring high schoolers in the morgue and Halloween 2 Rob Zombie, the coroner that said he wanted to get freaky with the dead bodies. Oh. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. I didn't think of that one. Real <laughs> nice. <laughs> you could also put Axel, right? Yeah. From from uh from um uh... I was going to say Beverly Friday Hills the Thirteenth, not actual yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> from Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah, yeah, part four, yeah. four. Oh, Christy, four. he's pretty despicable as well, isn't he? Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> um, what's he saying? He reminds me of Darren from the TV show Bewitched. I kind of get what you're saying there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Um, Snipers. <laughs> oh no, but there's been like five Darren's. Okay, okay. Um Rob Lucas says, What's up with the people in carpenter movies looking 75 at 40? Even John has always been 75. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Rob. And it's true, you know, loads of people say this, but he is, as he gets older, he's kind of like, you know, he's turning into low pan, isn't he? And I don't mean low, I mean <laughs> old low pan. <laughs> Uh, you can see him going around in his little John Carpenter in his motorized wheelchair. <laughs> Fuck off. Hits people in the knee and shit. Like he, he he literally bumps into people just for that's his that's his entertainment. Trying to bite ladies' fingers. Like uh, yeah. <laughs> skin you alive. Yeah. Uh Destiny <laughs> says that's a nice sweater. I think yeah. my mom had a sweater like that. Seafaring sweater, isn't it? Do they still have sweaters like that over at the coast? Uh, I get, yeah, because we I live in a little fishing village, just outside a little fishing village, and they have a sea shanties down there singing. And um, all the guys kind of dress like that in chunky jumpers and stuff when it's cold and stood down there singing. Um, so, yeah, I guess so. It's just a kind of, you know, like a like the same sort of thing if you were out in the country. There's a kind of dress code for that, isn't there? I guess. Um, uh, I mean, Rosie brings up a, uh, a, a when Rosie said this, uh, I thought of something different when she said the band of bullies from the uh, movie ends, the Halloween ends. And uh, I said, yeah, yeah, well, the yeah. whole movie's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else here. Uh, Willie Nelson has also been 80 for 40 years. Yeah. I guess Jordan so. <laughs> uh, says that, yeah, John Carpenter's slowly becoming translucent. <laughs> Could you see Chuck Carpenter just going through the walls, <laughs> like the like the like Ghostbusters, you know, like the well, like the librarian? <laughs> well, anyway, eventually you'll be able to see what he's thinking. You'll become that that transparent. Like all you'll see in his head are uh, pound signs and the word "fuck off" or dollar yeah. signs and the word "fuck." Off. He turns it to smoke. <laughs> Right, let's move on. Your next okay. one is Steve. I didn't know who Ty Burrell was. I mean, he certainly made his mark in Modern Family. Hmm. Uh, but this guy wasn't taking the whole zombie apocalypse seriously. You know, he even says uh, to the one when those girls were talking, oh, fellas, when you're done <laughs> blowing each other, you know. Uh, <laughs> and he told, uh, what's her name? Uh, Sarah. Sarah Polly. Sarah Polly. Yeah. Her character. Listen, if I ever turn to anything like that, you have my my right, or you know, you have the way to. You can shoot me in the head, and she does. Thank God, because he yeah. he had. There's video footage of him being an asshole mm. on when he's on the when he's on when he's on the um, his ship, and they're looking at the the, the camera footage. Yeah. Like a, yeah, he didn't care about anyone's life. He had one job, and that was to guard the door. Didn't even do that. <laughs> He was a jerk. He was a jerk. I completely agree. Um, yeah. I, I, when you said Steve, I thought you meant from the original Dawn of the Dead, um, Flyboy, 
from the original Dawn of the Dead. I was thinking, no, no. come on. He's taking the piss. I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Brandon Collins just said something here, which I heard about. And I know Dave mentioned it on his show the other night, which was um, that Carpenter has just directed a TV show from his couch via remote link. <laughs> Have you read about this? I didn't. I've, re- I've heard something I like this. Skimmed across it, and I just thought, Jesus, that just tells you everything. I don't want to go out. I'll do it from here. You know, it's like, what? He's got no pants on. Yeah, he's just like in a wife beater with a cigarette, like just telling people what to do on stage. Right, let me see the dailies. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh well, if you can get that kind of work, John, good luck. Let's have another. Don't direct the thing from your fucking armchair, please. Don't. (laughs) (laughs) You guys can make the monster anything you want. I don't care. I'll I'll sit right here. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It's that grunt. (laughs) Kurt, Kurt. Damn, the line's gone down. Can you imagine? (laughs) Jesus. He he has has one of those Xbox headsets on while he's directing (laughs) because he's playing like uh, NBA 2K5 or whatever. God. Uh. <laughs> okay, my next one is. Hey, hey. I think it's uh, it's it's Frank the cop from Sleepaway Camp, Captain Mustache. Yeah. So this is. I mean, I, I presume that most people have seen Sleepaway Camp. For those of you that haven't, this guy appears early in the movie uh, with a mustache. And uh, they obviously had to do some reshoots or something like that. Uh, and obviously he didn't, he shaved. And so they basically got some, it looks like electrician's tape that they've just put over his face. Marker. Marker pen, anything. It's just like, that'll do, you know? And I think like that Groucho. probably with standard definition video and that, they maybe just got away with it. But with 4K Blu-rays and everything now, and this, I took this as a screen grab from my Blu-ray. Um, you, you can just see that someone's painted it on, <laughs> and it's the way that he walks through the door and things are kicking off, and he just kind of stands there in front of the camera for a, a good few seconds, just turning his head, proudly showing it to everybody. Nice close-up. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he was trying to get into a bar, right? <laughs> yeah, McLovin. Yeah. <laughs> this looks like a prepubescent Tom Selleck fanboy. Oh, <laughs> the Magnum PI convention. Yeah, so I thought, you know, he's a jerk in these films. I mean, everybody's a jerk in that film. And we will talk about it one day, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, Sleepaway Camp. Um, <laughs> off, what's this called? Frank the Cop. That's it, Frank the Cop. <sighs> What, I wonder what his name tag said, because uh, when you're an officer, you have to have your name on there, and along yeah. with your badge number. Um, did it just say Frank on it? It says Frank the Cop. It can't say that. <laughs> it can't say that. It's 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 not a real cop. <laughs> Is he like when you were a cop? Like what was it, mall cop or whatever? You mall were? cop. I was a mall cop. <laughs> Okay, next one is Frank Blart. (laughs) Who's 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 seen Tucker and Dale versus Evil? It's a fantastic comedy horror movie. I showed this for the wife for my first time, and she was laughing her ass off. She's not in big into gore, uh, but I think it has to do. I think we're most people can stomach fantasy funny gore, and there's some gore that is just looks too realistic and sets the mood uh, of being something painful. Well, everybody in here died painfully anyway. But Chad, Chad particularly, this guy, this this actor plays assholes anyway. He was in a movie with uh, William Forsyth about John Wayne Gacy. And this was, he was John Wayne Gacy's pen pal. And he was saying, it was sending him provocative photos in prison. And in the, in the guy, based on a real story, and the guy committed suicide. Uh, you know, that I know, Darren. And he wasn't a child, <laughs> uh, but Chad from uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil, a hillbilly asshole. I have only seen this film once, and I'll be honest, I can't remember it at mm. all. Um, I saw it as something to do with my job, um, and I remember enjoying it, but I've never watched it since. 
and I believe I should. Everybody always kind of cites it as being a great kind of cult movie. Mm-hmm. Um, Our friend so yeah, Chris Bieber I'll... loves it. Yeah. Loves uh, Tucker and Tucker and Dale. Yeah, maybe I should take a look again. Mm. Um, it's it's I... one of those it's one of those movies that you know your your first impressions of somebody is usually the wrong one anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's just a way that some of these accidents that happen around these these campers Mm -hmm. this is hilarious (laughs) yeah everybody's agreeing with you it's a a very funny film um i I, I, tucker and dale is an amazing horror classic even my mom loved it says jonathan Mm. ball um and this this just going back to the mustache uh, (laughs) brandon collins says it's as bad as the fire badges in halloween 3 do you remember that Yes. When that guy is talking to in the background and the badge on the helmet's the just quail. wafting back and forwards. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Can you stop bobbing your head up and down? We're seeing that badge. Can you shake it left and right? Oh, no, nope, but still fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Next we have. Yeah. I'll yeah, post poster boy child. for this film. Oh. I mean. <laughs> He reminds me of the kid in Bad Santa, like a grown-up version of the kid in Bad Santa. Um, John Strode, what a despicable individual this guy was. Um, first thing in the morning here, wandering around with an axe. Uh, which version in his of robe? The, which yeah? Which version of the of his death do we prefer? Do we prefer where he just gets strangled, or do you want to see the whole head explode? I want to see the head explode just because he's an asshole. <laughs> but it doesn't fit the movie. Yeah. He was a dick in Wolf, too. Was he in Wolf? Yeah. Yep. He put he was uh, Christopher Plummer's lawyer. And he had one line. Oh my God. He had okay. one line. Did he, did he have that big curly barnet like that? He did. He had one line wow. and it was him saying, I won't agree to that. Okay. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> There's people in there saying, I love John Strode. Vanderhoff, what's wrong with you, man? <sighs> uh, Jim Dorsey, thanks, Jim, sends in thanks, Jim. a uh, Super Chat 499 says, Darren doesn't show his face around here for five years and expects us to roll out the red carpet. <laughs> what is that? I, what is that from? What is that from? That's a quote from a movie that he's kind of adapted, but what is mm-hmm. it from? Oh, my God. You love to tell us, Jim, but thanks for the super chat. No, that's from Halloween Six. Is it? Is that from Halloween? When Kira shows up. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. You and that little yes. bastard of yours. I remember now. That's his yeah, grandson, yeah, yeah. for Christ's yeah. sakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll get to that in a bit. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Ashton okay. says. Uh, Ashton Lux says. Uh, uh, John Stroh was the best part of that movie. Really? Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, my God! Wow! People love uh, abuse. You know, somebody that I forgot as well was um, was uh, Sherry Moon's boyfriend in Rob Zombie's Halloween. He should oh, have been on here. Ronnie I White. forgot all about that. Ronnie, that's the one. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic character. <laughs> um, okay, moving on. Your next one is? Roach, Demon Knight. Played by an Oscar winner. I'm trying to look, see who is it? Who is it? Church. Thomas Hayden Church. Oh, it is. So it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sideways. Great film. Yep. Yep. Uh, I put him on here. Um, He's not an annoying character, but he's he's a beater. Um, He's thinking about himself. He doesn't care about the end of the world. He even says at the end, you know about this all the Armageddon and end of the world shit? Who cares? I got hemorrhoids that are, that are worse. <laughs> like he really doesn't care about the world. He just wants out. Well, if you leave the door and the demons, if say if the demons even actually did let you go, which they didn't, you were going to die anyway. So what would be the point? Hands over the key that has Jesus's blood in it. Demon Knight's a great film. Love it. I remember Love watching Demon it and, and thinking, this is great fun. And what the cinema that I saw it in when I first saw it was loud, so loud. It was like punching you in the chest all the time. I had great experience with it. And I always remember, is it Billy Zane who does that kind of little dance on the grave? 
Like an yeah, Elvis. Like, hope, 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 motherfucker. Fucking hold down, low down, right down there, <laughs> motherfucker. Fuck this cowboy shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I remember CCH Pounders in it, right? And she lifts up her nub. And he and Billy Zane's character goes, is that a yes? No. That's me giving you the finger, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> very good i i was looking at that when you told me about this character earlier and i found the picture i was looking at it going i know his face do you know who i thought it was i thought it was the guy from the untouchables in the white suit running along the rooftop draco yeah yeah <laughs> it looked like him and then now you say it thomas aiden church it sticks out a mile yeah yeah, even Brett Patrick says uh, Demon Knight had an awesome soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, it did. Remember the it 90s? Did. Does anyone else remember the 90s music? Well, they went and spoiled it by bringing out Bordello of Blood, didn't they? That had a good yeah. soundtrack as well, but um, it wasn't, wasn't the same at all. Anthrax can't save, that, can't save that movie, can it, though? No. Mm. No. I love um, the Demons, though. Yeah, everyone's like, yeah, Demon Knight's awesome. Sam yeah, Man from to... Spider Man Three. Daryl, let's talk Sam Man from Spider Man Three. <laughs> Moving on, um, <laughs> we should we we should do Demon Knight for an episode. Mm. I think that would be great fun. Best and worst of. If you guys yeah. want to see that, let us know on our Facebook. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, next is Nedry. <laughs> is it Nedry? Is that his name? Yeah. Just check it, Dennis Nedry. Yeah, from Newman. From New, uh, Newman from. Seinfeld. Seinfeld, yeah. Um, this guy's irritating. And again, meets a great demise by getting spat on by the... What do they call that thing now? Dilophosaurus. Shit dinosaur. Yeah, the shit with the, with the one with the... Yeah. the aren't those on, in Australia? <laughs> Probably. Reese. <laughs> <laughs> do you got Dilophosaurus in Australia? <laughs> yeah, he has one of those lizards, right? That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even that like that bloody my jigsaw shit eating grin that he's got there look laughing, dodging, dodging. Yeah, <laughs> nobody cares, nobody cares. So, why, why is he in so much debt? You think he made bad bets? Oh, probably. Uh, who knows? Who cares? Ate his way, he's, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> we got dodging here. Um, yeah, that kind of really annoying character from Jurassic Park. Not technically a horror, but you know, kind of qualifies. People get scared me in some parts as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. Next, yours is now. Who has seen Deep Rising? Dare and I, we both love this movie. Mm. A Dean Cundy, uh, second uh, director of photography on it. Uh, Simon Simon Canton. Yeah, a, a real. He didn't start out as an asshole, but it, eventually you find out he's the biggest asshole of all, causing all of these millions of deaths. You can't, you can't blame the monster. Mm. In it. It's the guy who, in business, Darren, you know that you have a certain expenditure, and you broadcast how much you need, and forecast for that matter. How much you need to build what you want and expect how much to get back in return. Hmm. It's 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 proper business in, yeah, in no yeah. matter what line of work you do. This guy goes over budget. <laughs> goes way over budget. You know what it is? It's those diamond encrusted gongs he has all over the fucking place. <laughs> isn't he the same guy from um Silence of the Lambs as well? It is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he would yeah. be another major asshole in horror as well. That I didn't think of. <laughs> oh, I, I mean, it was it was. Evil Alex says fun film, bad CG, uh, bad CGI. Yeah, uh, that was really early CG, wasn't yeah. it? But it was in. Oh, oh, it's Treat Williams, you know, can't go wrong. B yeah. movie, B movie heaven. Fantastic. West Studi. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, and some of those people who are in it now, I mean, who were in it then, are big names now. Like who? I can't think of him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't think of Treat Williams, is he? He had a ceiling years ago. No. Last time I saw Treat Williams, he was on um, Chicago Fire. Yeah. <laughs> he got old, didn't he? He did, but, you know, he still looks good. He still looks good. 
like the other day, I watched this trailer for this new Netflix film with with Pierce Brosnan. I can't remember the title of it now. It's Pierce Brosnan and Ellen Barkin, and uh, they play a couple of um, robbers whose uh, daughter is getting married to this guy. Pierce Brosnan just looks amazing in his old age. Absolutely fantastic. Distinguished. Yeah, incredibly distinguished. Um, film looks whatever. Um, <laughs> yes, Jordan. Uh, was it what's James Damon Hansoon? Jamun Hansu. Yeah, yeah. And in, uh, oh, was he in Deep Rising? Yeah, you're yeah. Right. He's the one that you're got right. the uh, he got, he got the axe to the head as soon as they opened up the vault. Yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, absolutely. He went on to be Guardians of the Galaxy. He did. Oh, he and did. Then, and you're in your favorite, uh, Famik Jensen. <laughs> Famik Jensen, Famke Jansen. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm, I'm American. I pronounce how it's, how it's spelled. <laughs> Famik Jensen. Uh, Brandon okay. Collins, oh, yeah. man. That, that, that's that's pretty. That's pretty tough. Uh, Treat Williams, aka Box Office Poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he had a great career in um, uh, VHS. Uh, TV Van, <laughs> Vanderhof uh, sends in two dollars. Thanks, buddy, and says thanks, bud. RTSAC, where I come from, I call them baldies. <laughs> what does that mean? RTSA RTSAC. <clears throat> I honestly, I'm, I'm, can you explain that one a little bit more? For, do you understand that, Frank? RTSAC. I'm trying to think. Well, he's only about 25 miles he's away. He's the corner from me. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's something, you know, in the UK, if you're 10 miles away, it's a different world. <laughs> and you've got, you, we were talking earlier, you, you've you got some, what, ash cloud at the moment or something? Or? Yeah. Uh, Canada is invading the US right now with their um, bushfires. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. Is it bad? Oh, there's, there's an orange haze outside. We, we have a, uh, we have a uh, air quality uh, warning, so you can't, you shouldn't go outside. Oh wow! Anyone who has asthma or any emphysema or any kind of breathing difficulty, you drop dead as soon as you walk out. Jesus. <laughs> well, not literally, you know what I mean, but it's just really yeah. I know, I know, I know. I know. Difficult to believe. Yeah. Oh, sleepaway camp. Sleep sleep already away. sleepaway camp where I come from, Golden Baldies. I get it now. I get it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Wow. Yeah, you, know, you can't um, say you can't put sleepaway camp and put sack, man. It just doesn't. <laughs> you know no how close it comes. <laughs> he means Artie from sleepaway camp, right? Okay, got it. Yeah, Artie sack and sleepaway camp. You know, it's just. <laughs> we'll get to more sleepaway camp in a minute. Yeah, yeah. Next one is. Anne Ramsey in Deadly Friend, and her name was Elvira Parker. Um, and she was the horrible neighbor to um, Christy Swanson. I think it was Christy Swanson, if I remember right, who played the girl in Deadly Friend. Deadly Friend is a really underrated um, Wes Craven movie. Mm -hmm. And she it's plays not, the. Not, not talked about, is it, ever? No, not really. No, it's kind of, you know, it's of its time, but it's it's fun. Um, it's it, 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 she. Uh, What's her name? Anne Ramsey plays the horrible neighbor. She steals the um, uh, Christy Swanson's base uh, basketball at some stage, and mm -hmm. when whatever happens to Christy Swanson happens, and then she takes revenge on her neighbor Anne Ramsey, and she throws the basketball at her head. For those that haven't seen it, Frank and I and Dave did a short video on on Deadly Friend, just that one particular scene, because Dave had never heard of it, and we played him the sequence where, you know this thing happens to Anne Ramsey. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you a picture of what happens, but base, essentially the baseball, the basketball is thrown at her head and it explodes, <laughs> does her head. It just shatters everywhere. Bits of skull and hair and brain all over the place. It's a fantastic sequence. Uh, and as Evil Alex says, an iconic head explode. Uh, and and batshit scary says like a watermelon. It does go <laughs> like a... Uh, a, a watermelon, but great, great fun, great little film, uh, and yeah, it's underrated and really doesn't get uh, uh, talked about. West, West, well, I think it was 1987. I think West Craven. That was a uh, prior Buffy, wasn't it, for uh, Swanson? 
Yeah, yeah, it was a yeah. few years before. A few I think years she was before. Like still a teenager at the time. I think she was like 19, 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, next. You, yours is... Okay, it's not Angela. Hmm. Because we know Angela is a bigger something else than an asshole. Uh, <laughs> it's it's Richie. Richie is the biggest dick in this movie. Okay, you could put your cook. Everyone says the cook from Sleepaway Camp. Yeah, he oh. is an asshole for what he's trying to do. But Darren and I both agree at some point, whiny kids just make you want to strangle them. <laughs> I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Shut up already. You ain't going to kill anybody. Shut up, <laughs> Richie. And he, and he comes back in like the fourth or fifth movie. Still a whiny little b- bastard. <laughs> Asshole. He's your cousin. You mean to tell me that you didn't. He, does he know Angela's secret? He must. Well, we could have also, I mean, we picked the cop earlier because that's always great comedy value. But also, the aunt is one of the <laughs> one of the most the uncle on un, un, uh, well, whatever <laughs> one of the most unpalatable <laughs> characters in horror. I think, um, yeah, we got to do sleep away camp. We got to do a watch along or an episode or something like that. I, I um, start watching sleep away camp in part two. Some great B movie. Isn't that just like there. a recap of part one? Not really. I mean, first of all, you got Bruce, the boss's sister in there. Uh, yes. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And then, I mean, one of my favorite deaths is, you know, the firecrackers up the nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long time since I've seen it. Um, it's like four, isn't there, I think. And there's boobs like in it. Four. Okay. All right, we'll do a watch along. <laughs> um, okay. We'll do a watch along um, now. We have 90. I thought we went over 100 a minute ago, but then, folks, there are 97 people. Our live streams are really picking up some traction at the moment. Excellent. 97 I love being here with them here. anyway. Yeah. On a, what is it? Wednesday afternoon. Folks, if you don't mind hitting the like button, that would really help us. Uh, 100 people here right now that would be uh that'd be great if you could consider hitting the like button darren take a blake's comment what's that he needs to be blocked <laughs> what did he say he said that he thought the cook was great <laughs> don't get us talking about cooks uh <laughs> he thought the cook was great. yeah that pervy cook yeah yeah um okay <laughs> my next one is see Teddy from uh, Friday the Third. This the other, wasn't the other guy called Ted. Yeah. So they bring another arsehole into the franchise <laughs> called Ted as well. <laughs> it's um, like they sit around the uh, sit around the table and say, "What can we call this asshole character?" Well, we always call him Ted's or Ed. So pick one. <laughs> he's swanning around like he's uh, you know I don't know Elvis or something like that, thinking that he's hot shit. And um, he's he's giving it the big old, you know, this, that, and the other to everybody, saying how, you know, he's such a ladies' man and just fails miserably throughout this film. Completely belittles, um, what's his face? Um, Marty Christmas. McFly's dad. Christmas, Christmas Crispin Glover. Glover. Marty, Mc, Marty, Marty McFly's, McFly's dad. dad. Uh, and is totally deserving of getting a knife in the back of his head, I think, in this film. Yeah, he is a kind of uh, an asshole and a creep. I'll give him those two badges. Mm. <laughs> He's almost. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't put him as somebody who would sexually assault one of the twins. What? <laughs> but he's because all a lot of our people on our list have been people who've been like fondling other people. Um, some of them. But he's like the guy who and would Ramsey wasn't fondling anyone. Oh, you don't know what he was doing. She was doing that basketball, Darren. <laughs> I mean, it's one of the few balls that actually is rough on the outside. <laughs> Get to the point, please. Well, he's the type of person that would that would probably sneak into your room and steal your panties. <laughs> and where? Probably, them. yeah. No, I get that. He's that type of guy, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Even, even. Um, uh, Deverick says, uh, yeah, yes, he's a, he's the, he's a big, the biggest jerk of this movie. Computer, Computer says, says you're, you're a dead, dead fuck. fuck. 
Uh, Sebastian says Victor Salva is number oh, one. Yeah. We did characters. We're not, yeah, doing... <laughs> yeah, we're not doing people. <laughs> we could go through a Derek. But Aaron probably has a list of all the people that uh, he's met that turned out to be that way. <laughs> I got some in my what? own family. What does that mean? Please rephrase that. <laughs> Moving on. Okay, yeah, let's move Your on. Next one is. <laughs> does anyone remember what was his title? I know it was it was Sheldon, but what was it, Captain? Or lieutenant, it was at this you know this this military uh, uh, base uh, for wayward youths or something like that, and he is an asshole from the start. He took he, he didn't like Andy to begin with, and he basically didn't like anybody except for the general. The general had a heart attack seeing Chucky come alive, and one of the best lines is you know you got to be fucking kidding me. You know, just have an heart attack. <laughs> uh, but this guy uh, deserved what he got. But nobody <laughs> killed him except for his own platoon or when they were having the war games. It would have been better if Chucky killed him. Um, but, yeah, when he stole Andy's doll, he stole Chucky from Andy, not believing. He says, oh, yeah, my kid sister will love something. That's his birthday coming up. You think that he raped Chucky? What? <laughs> Where are you? It was into Chucky. He took took Chucky into his room. Jesus, um, I this film got banned in the UK. Did um, it? It did. It was it was released and then it was taken off the shelves. Um, we yeah we we I didn't actually see it until years later because it was removed because there was a famous uh, case in the UK of a, a murder and and the uh, of a child and the the kids had been watching. Child's Play 3 right before they did what they did. Oh, my um, God. So, so they put it, the two and two together, huh? Yeah, yeah, and, and it got withdrawn, and, yeah, it was it was very sad. Yeah, David Irwin's right, yeah, sit and spin, James Bulger, yeah, very sad. But, uh, I, I again, I think I've only seen this film once. I'm not a huge Chucky fan, um, so, you know, I have to, I'll have to go back and watch it at some stage, but I do vaguely remember this guy. What actually happens to him here? Does he get shot? Yeah, he gets. Uh, they're they're having war games. Is it like a paintball thing? I seem to remember. Yeah, like paintball it's like paintballing, games, like, fake yeah. uh, fake bullets. But Chucky reloads it with real ammunition. Yeah, yeah. He, he didn't deserve it because he did deserve to go out in a different way. Uh, but yeah, seeing them fight back and forth, he loaded one one side had had ammo, the other side had their regular uh, paintballs and. Uh, you know, he's, he says, here comes the cavalry, and they're shooting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Chester. Uh, yeah, we got a super chat from Power Packers. $2 yep. says, Alan in return to Sleepaway Camp 4, annoying jerk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. I'm trying to think now. Do I know who that is? Crikey. Uh, I, I can't remember. Can you? I vaguely do. Let me put him in really quick. I was right up. <laughs> <laughs> you just typed A and L and a picture of him came up. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Alan. You got misunderstood 14 year old. 14. Okay. His catchphrase right. is your ass stinks. <laughs> <laughs> this one I don't want to I don't want to dwell on this next one too long. I'm just going to put it up there, explain that this this person made me hate this film and then move on because I don't want to get into okay. like if I, okay. So, my next one is uh the kid from the <sighs> Babadook. I hated the Babadook. This kid had a lot to do with it. I didn't find anything scary about it. You know, the 90 minutes of following an ink blot around the screen was just boring to me, and uh, he made it kind of unbearable. So moving on. <laughs> there we go. Darren had to put a kid in us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so it's safe to say, Darren, if that little boy was not was part of your family, and someone asked you, could you babysit for maybe made just a wink? Would you say, absolutely not? <laughs> yeah, moving on. Uh, no, no, I mean this is this is um, th this this character was pretty despicable in both versions, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, the, yeah. the book is worse. The book is what, worse. What's his name again? Alvin. Alvin. Marsh. Alvin. Alvin. That's right. Yeah. See, none of them here 
some of the people, because uh, Jonathan was uh, asking us, did it get to the point where um, a lot of these people were, were dying because they, were, they, they, they got killed because they're assholes anyway. So they just were fodder. He, the, Alvin Marsh doesn't die in the movie. He dies of either cancer or natural causes. And I think the one in the remake is worse than the one in the, yeah. the TV yeah. version. Yeah. And there's something yeah. that's implied uh, in uh, the, the the TV version, but you know what he's doing in the remake. Mm. So I had to put them both in. I think they're both assholes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the this is the, the far, I'm trying to remember now, this is the father of the redheaded girl, right? Yeah, Bev. Beverly. Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. He was... Uh, yeah, pretty horrifying in that. Uh, and, and I don't really remember the guy in the uh, the original, um, probably because the original over here was it wasn't released as a um, as a as a uh, on the TV. It was released as a VHS when it came really? out. Yeah, yeah. It was never. Re- I think eventually it went onto TV, obviously, but it was released as a VHS. And for whatever reason, when I was a kid, I never engaged with it at all. So I saw it years later. Actually, I think we might have done something on it. Did I watch it? I'm trying to, th- trying to think. Now. Shamrock, anyway. Shamrock's right. He, she, uh, Bev doesn't know that her father's dead because she left town. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, um, I, I just remember watching it and finding it difficult to watch because John Boy Walton, who's has that stutter. Uh, if you watch that film now, that it's 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 pretty it's. A, Pretty poor acting, isn't it? I don't know if you him and Olivia Hussey. I think it is at the start mm-hmm. of the film. It's kind of laughable now, um, but no, it's it, it's Tim Curry in the, the original. Oh, he steals the show. Amazing, yeah, amazing, amazing. Evil Alex says I prefer the remake. Yeah, I'd say so as well. Um, but there are elements of the original film. Um, and back to the retro, Simon says it was on Sky over two nights. You're right, it was. It was. I do remember that, but I think it was after the the VHS release. Um, yeah, it. Which leaves us with the final one, which possibly maybe both of us agree on this, but um, my most annoying asshole. In <laughs> sorry, I'm just laughing at Shamrock's um, <laughs> message there. Uh, my most annoying and asshole in horror is. Um, if I can turn it over, one sec. There we go. Oh. The man in black. And I, I, you know, again, this is the downside of, um, of having HD um, or 4K. I pulled my 4K copy out today and zoomed in and screen grabbed uh, this picture of the man in black in the Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, where you can clearly see he's wearing um, stocking over his head. Pantyhose. <laughs> Pantyhose over his head. So this is a scene where the little kid spots him down the street. But that but, hat, yeah, yeah, doesn't fit him. Yeah, um, the character for me just uh, ruined the franchise. Um, obviously, they picked things up later on and got rid of him and all that kind of thing. But in terms of the trajectory that the movies were on, once this character came into it, I mean, by batshit scary tight sniffer he's calling it do you, <laughs> do you call them tights in the u.s we do but they're yeah. different they're a different uh term we use for that they're like those yoga pants that we have <laughs> darren listen ladies and gentlemen as what you know about me i don't wear this shit okay i don't know what they are i can only tell what my wife has said i don't go around saying i wonder if they're called tights or or anything like that <laughs> uh, but yes, Contrary the man to what Darren has told you, the man who crashed the franchise in the late eighties oh, was yeah. the man in black. Um, and just look how ridiculous he looks here. You see know, me that no one would approach him or say something to him if this guy was wandering around on the streets. He's got a Shamrock van. He's driving silver Shamrock. <laughs> yeah. I bet you, Darren, if you look close enough and if you zoom in when it gets to you know eight K. You could probably see people in the back of that van with like a mic and everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was surprised they didn't put anyone in the driver's seat. Do you think he tried different colored stockings? 
I want <laughs> <Do you think? laughs> like, you only just for shits and giggles. Just like they give them fish nets. Give me them yellow ones there. Let me try that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he has a why does it say free candy on the side of that van <laughs> but you know it, but darren you're right uh, when this first came out we didn't it was it was it was just a silhouette mm. you couldn't see him yeah you couldn't make it out you can't tell me. It's just yeah, it's just a guy in a fucking stocking. His nose is pushed in for Christ's sake. <laughs> yeah. Is that the guy who plays him? What's the what's the actor's name? Um, died a couple of years ago, didn't he? Oh, uh, the guy from Lethal Weapon, right? Yeah. Oh. Um, McAllister, was it, in Lethal Weapon? Uh, oh, God, what did they call the guy who played uh, Dr. Wynn? Oh, guys, what's his real name? <laughs> they'll, they'll, they'll pull it out before we can even look at it. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember now. Bloody hell. Uh, anyway, Mitch do you Ryan. think that's him, or was it Don Shanks that played him? It's Mitch Ryan. Mitch, Mitch Ryan, Ryan, that's it. Yeah. yeah, Mitchell Ryan. Do you think that is that Don Shanks under all that get up, or is it actually Mitchell Ryan? I think it's John Strode. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine they pull out his hat. There's this yellow, this yellow fro. <laughs> He's like. <laughs> Mitchell Ryan's like, I'm not putting that over my head. Get some stuntman to do it. <laughs> it's Lewis. It's Donald Pleasant. You know, he goes up to the side He'd probably be well up for it. <laughs> Give me my trench coat. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, mean it, I don't even think in the first, I mean, in, in part five, they had that type of coat either. No, I don't think it was. I just think it was just a long overcoat, wasn't it? It didn't yeah. have like, this is almost like a, a kind of bloody Sherlock Holmes get up here. You know, what is it? The, what do you call those? Cape? Yeah, it's like a deer skin. Is like that what they cape? call them? No, it's a hat. The deer skin's the hat. Um, yeah. Yeah, like a cape. It's a, it's like something from Dark Man. <laughs> it's, isn't it? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> now you got me thinking. Brandon says, to be honest, it looks like Malika Card. And oh, that. yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, it's just, uh, do you think that? If they brought this guy, whoever he was, he was just some extra, or maybe he was just like some third, not third, uh, second second crew person. And they said, just stand here. No, um, I'm, I'm sure I read, um, people can correct me if they uh, want, but I thought it was Don Shanks who played him. Oh, maybe in the fifth film it was Don Shanks. This is the sixth yes. film, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. God knows who it is. Maybe it's Wilbur. I don't know. Could be George Wilbur. <laughs> uh, who cares <laughs> who, yeah who really does really yeah 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 my god we got another episode <laughs> yeah ex- um that's it that's our 20 assholes in horror <laughs> <laughs> there's more a lot of people are you know like chester was saying and a lot of other people uh larry vaughn i wouldn't technically put him as an asshole ignorant yeah yeah ignorant ignorant i i just think you know I, and i saw that uh that shamrock there said mrs taft oh, are you going, going to close, close the beaches, beaches? <laughs> uh was she an asshole did she have the the town's best interests at heart she, she was thinking about herself i'm not just saying that because i have the hotel yeah yeah and then her husband it was just you know whipped Listen, <laughs> I know you got some got some issues downtown, but I got these cats parked out in front. You know, and they're blocking the way. I can't get deliveries, and all you need to do is just paint a yellow red, no parking, right out there. It's just all a simple thing. Just do it, okay? Here, I'll let you sleep with my wife. You'll be fine. I need a break from her anyway. She talks my ear off during bed. I, okay, okay, you okay there? All right. <laughs> That's very I got, good. I that's got very good. If if anybody, <laughs> I don't know if people, that's the that's the the guy getting in the way of Chief Brody when he's trying to shark spot, isn't it? Yeah. In the, in the original Jaws. My, uh, yeah, yeah. My, <laughs> Martin Collins, Brandon Collins <laughs> sends in five dollars and says the biggest a hole in horror was Rob Zombie for oh. directing that 
festering pile of steaming dog excrement called Halloween 2. Movie jail forever. Oh. Uh, I kind of agree with that because I really don't get on with Halloween 2. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. I got a question for everybody right now. Brandon Collins brought up a point. Would you rather see on loop Halloween 2, Rob Zombie, or Halloween Ends? For a Ends. Day. Any day. Would you rather see Ends? Oh, Ends. Yeah. Definitely. We want to put a poll up? <laughs> Jet brings up a nice point, too. Uh, rest in peace, Iron Sheik. You know, because he yeah, was, the, he was yeah. humble all day, yeah. those assholes. He was the... He was... He was our wrestling asshole. Hmm. Ends. Everyone's ends, ends. 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 Nobody wants to watch. Well, Halloween Jonathan two Ball is said, you know, Halloween two. Yeah, there you he's go. like Halloween two. Wow, everyone's putting ends. You know, Bat is saying you know, it's Rob Zombie's two is horrendous. <laughs> it is it absolutely is. I agree too. I agree too. That steaming pile of crap. <laughs> <sighs> All right, Darren. What we got coming up? This is going to be a quick live episode, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we yeah, be we talking have to... assholes all day. <laughs> um, we are. We've got. Um, there's been a lot of movement on uh, the Halloween 45 convention this week, so we're going to maybe Friday do something on that. Um, a, pre- a pre-recorded episode. Um, we've also got the poll is up for our next watch along. Thanks to all the VIP P patrons for putting together those suggestions. Couldn't put all of them in there but you know we we feel free to suggest any of the ones we didn't put up this month next month um so those choices are raiders of the lost ark the burning the burning robocop and maximum overdrive thanks frank um from what i can see the burning is winning um, which yeah. is interesting because RoboCop shot ahead to begin with, and then overnight the burning seems to have uh, have caught up. Maybe somebody's got three hundred burner accounts to catch it up with. But overnight, there and the burning happened. Happened? Oh, oh, don't! No, 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 no. <laughs> Um, yeah, so look, everybody's saying the burning, the burning, burning all the way. Oh, Dave, Devrick Grant wants. Um, uh, maximum Maximum Overdrive, Overdrive. David Evolution, Sane Robocop, um, David Irwin wants Raiders. So, yeah, so we'll see. But uh, I'll close that poll probably in the next day or so and we'll we'll make our minds up. But we are going to record some pre-recorded stuff um, this week. Uh, if you are one of our VIP patrons and you haven't yet had your VIP, your, your best and worst of episode recorded, can you reach out? Because I think I've got everybody's that has reached out so far. We've already done them. Uh, if there's anybody out there that's a VIP Patreon that hasn't had their best and worst of episode uh, recorded, then then reach out to us and we'll maybe throw that in the mix this weekend as well. Yeah. And uh, you know what? You guys got a homework assignment. And I want to uh, put that out there. Who is the man in black standing there? <laughs> Please, if you could find out who it is, You'll get mentioned in the next episode. Uh, Benny Styles Records sends in a late super chat, one ninety nine, and says, "Better Halloween Two Zombie than Resurrection." Ooh, hmm. I think at least Zombies Halloween has got a decent soundtrack in terms of the songs <laughs> that are in there. Um, and sometimes switching from actual footage to webcam, it kind of like your head's just like, "Jesus Christ, man!" <laughs> Stay with it. George Wilbur. Is yeah, it George Wilbur? Uh, well, that's what I suggested. Is it George? Tony Moran? <laughs> <laughs> Jordan Moran says, just some pervert, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Tony Danza. Yeah, to- Geek Tales says, Tony Danza, he repainted the van from the van from Who's the Boss? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we'll see oh, you soon. Just one from Danita. Yeah, yeah, one says, more. Oh, uh, says, uh, have a good one, TSL family. Thanks, Darren and Frank, for a fun stream. Help me finish my work day. No Excellent. problem, Danita. Good to it's see Rowan you. Atkinson. That's who it was. It's right. I can't believe you thought he was in Day oh, of the fun. Dead. Yeah, kill me. Fantastic. Kill me. Whatever. <laughs> All right, ladies okay. and gentlemen, as always, stick to the roads. And the best of luck. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>